Welcome, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Voices of Change and Hope. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, for me to be on this call. Uh, very bright morning for some of you. I know that we have people across the globe logging in. Uh, we have people from Asia, from Europe, um, from all over the world, from North America. So um, I know that as we're all facing uh, this global pandemic and the situation that's happening around the world, um, and I've been monitoring the situation closely the last uh, 10 days, uh, especially, and I have you know, thought about as an entrepreneur, uh, what are some of the things that we can do as a quote unquote leader uh, of our community? What, what are some of the things that we could do? So, you know, this thing about the voices, voices of change and hope came to mind. And so just when I was thinking about that, uh, I think two days ago or yesterday, two days ago, I received a, a text. Uh, an incredible lady had reached out to me and asked me if I was uh, willing to do a call for women's empowerment. And so I thought, you know, instead of women, why don't we just do a call collectively and globally uh, to talk to our community, people that we have worked with the last over 10 years. And so it is a social responsibility and it is a human thing to do. So I'm very grateful uh, for her to accept the invitation. And she is someone that I look up to in the industry because when I, you know, she is, the way I could describe her is, and I know many of you know who she is, but the way I would describe her is she's the big sister in this industry. She has spent many years in this industry and you could tell when she's on stage, her unshakable faith, her, her power comes from within. So what better way to launch this call with none other than our global entrepreneur, someone that has made change in many people's lives around the world with this incredible lady, uh, a big sister to me, uh, a, a legend in this industry. So with that, welcome our global entrepreneur all the way from Florida, Ms. Teresa Gregory. Welcome. Uh, oh, thank you, Kim. It's such a pleasure to be on here. And I'm so excited to be a part of our, you know, our global family and so much that we can do as leaders right now. So absolutely, absolutely, and 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 I, I, you know, and by the way, thank you again for, for reaching out um, uh, to to want to do a call together. And as a result of that, that's how this all came about. Yes, yes, thank you. So you know, Teresa. Now I, we're going to talk about a couple of things today um, to our global community of friends around the world. Uh, as you can see, we got people from literally different continents that are locking into this call. And some of them are so dedicated that it's 5 a.m. for them right now. I know, I know. I mean, it's it talk about dedication. And so, you know, the, the intention of us of doing this call is really to hold space and to share some positive vibes as we all need it in this times of, you know, change. So I want to ask you, Teresa, how, how do you, I mean, with all this happening, and I know that you've been also been staying on top of the situation, what are your views as first, I mean, as entrepreneur and more importantly, as a human being, how do you view this whole situation and what we can do collectively as human beings at this time of change? Well, it's definitely a time of change and, you know, things that are going on, unlike any of us have seen. But I do believe that we've all been prepared for, you know, I thank God every day that I have an online platform. And I actually think that all of us as leaders have been prepared for such a time as this. And you know, really, the other day, Kim, I was just thinking about the people and people kind of stressing out. And, you know, we need to walk in faith, you know, not fear. That's and right. God's not taken back. You know, he knows all this is happening, but he also knows what's in us as people mm. and what we can all collectively do to help each other, whether it's your families, your communities, your places of worship, your synagogues, your, you know, your soup kitchens, wherever we can all reach out. And I know each place is an area is different. But we need to stay strong for each other. We need to, and I thought about it, I thought, you know, wow, what a place that we are as leaders more so than ever. Right. And um, I just think that I, I started hearing some people and they're from other countries and we were doing some Skypes and they said, well, we don't really know how to do Zoom. We don't really know how to do all this. You know, it's time to learn. We're set up. We're perfect. We're ready. And so I feel more than ever that we're going to see a surge in our industry. People are looking 
more right. than ever. They're open. And we need to be that voice of hope, that hope, that hope that there's always hope. Always, Absolutely. always. Hope. Absolutely. Now, I, I think you touch upon a key word called staying strong. We all need to stay strong. So, so, you know, what would you say? What would be what would you say to others? How does one, in your opinion, stay strong in, in, in this matter? What, what can one do? Well, I think we all have to trust belief and uh, to try to work together to trust our governments, first of all. I think we need to be trusting in our leaders, in our communities, in our businesses, you know, our, our management with our companies, you know, where we're at. That's traditional business. It's online business. And we don't need to be a problem. We need to come forward and say, how can I help? How can I be a servant? What is the area that my gifts are? Where can I help the best? Mm. And trust that we have the best leadership that um, where we're at, you know, it's, it says that kings and queens and presidents are put in by God. And whether we believe that or not, it's true. And mm. so we to trust and work with each other. And I think we're seeing the best of humanity starting to come out, you know, that we're starting to see people say, how can I help? What That's can right. I do to help you? Um, I know you may not understand this platform or this business, or you're looking for something, mm. or how can we just help those? I told people in my neighborhood, even I said, Go get extra dog food for those that didn't do it. Go to e get extra food for those that didn't have an mm. opportunity. So mm. all my friends and neighbors and staff, you know, they're all prepared. They're ready. And right. so we're ready to help any way we can. Yeah, you know, and, and also to add to that, I, I think that to stay strong, it, it's a lot more. Uh, I think it comes for that strength also comes with that sense of knowing that sense of trust you talked about it. And that is within. And yes. you know, Teresa, you touch upon about, you know, to me, you know, in the midst of all the streams of media, all this thing. And I think the word that came to mind that we all as human beings have to use this thing called discernment. Right. You know, of all these stuff coming in. I mean, you know, some positive, some negative, but we just have to be, have this discernment and say, you know what, we have to choose what we want to look at and, and, and to turn that, that stressful, nervous energy into, into something that anchors, you know, ang not anger, but anchors us. And so like you touch upon, you know, I, I've seen so many heroes uh, on the streets. I mean, people that are uh, cooking for the elderly, people that are delivering food for those who, who would have no access to it. I mean, I think staying strong, these are the things that moves people that actually, for me, got me out of fear. And, you yeah. know, as human beings, we all have this sense of fear, especially watching this news. But when you, when like a call like this that you wanted to come on and do, a call like this, it, I don't know, when, when, when the minute that you and I decided to do this, it's like there's, there's a surge of energy that comes from within that say, you know what, together we can do something. Yes, we can. And so with that, I, I think, you know, I, I think our mental, I mean, we, we talk about, you know, some of the things that we want to talk about in, you know, we being in the, in, in the wellness industry and now mm -hmm. in time to want to stay healthy. So oh, yeah. what, how do you stay healthy? You look fabulous, Teresa, by the way. And <laughs> so <laughs> how do you stay healthy in a time like this? What are some of the things that you would do? Well, I think everybody needs to have a game plan. You know, personally, you know, we have more time now. So that needs to be something we concentrate on because, you know, we need to stay strong mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Get your spiritual antennas up. The answers are out there. Mm. And so don't let fear grip you. But, you know, whatever it is, walk around your house a few times. I know you guys in California, I mean, God love you. We're praying for you there. We're not there yet, but we know different areas are going to be. And so I chose to do my webinar outside today because I thought I want to be out in this beautiful sun and fresh air. So, you know, do what you can. Get together with your family. Get together with some of your team if you live close by and, and do some team dynamics. You know, say, who can I call today to encourage? Who out mm. there can I uplift? Who can I encourage and just give hope to? And mm. everybody, everybody steps out and does that. You know, we're going to be okay. We are, but things are transitioning um, on the globe. But you know what? I think, wow, we are a people picked for such a time as this to be on the planet at this time to help take us to the next place and the next level that we need to be. So yes, of course, physically, uh, first and foremost, we now have that time. So, you know, somebody said, well, I don't have the time. Well, guess what? We all have the time <laughs> now to make our physical health a priority. 
Absolutely, so. absolutely. And you know, and thank goodness we have amazing products in the platform that you and I are in. Um, mm -hmm. So take lots of that stuff. I've got them all right here. <laughs> oh yes, 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 I have mine right here too. I know. And so, I mean, besides like, you know, taking supplements and all that, and I think that that mental health, you know, that 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 stems within. And so I think, like, like you said, you know, fear factor is all around, but it's up to us whether to pick that up or not. And right. So uh, the key thing for me, you know, is not to get up, not not to get caught up in fear. Right. Because so easy to. And when we get caught up in fear, it, it cripples us and we can't do anything. So some of the things that I do, Teresa, like today before the call, I went out for a walk. You know, yes. it's beautiful. I mean, sometimes it rains, but when it's not raining, you just go out, get in touch with mother nature. And oh, so, yes. um, and, and, and walk and, and just, you know, talk to the people that gives you, that you get positive vibes. Look at the things that feed you mentally, spiritually. And so and instead of looking at all those, those like dire news that's happening every day, yeah. so, you know, so I choose to, 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 to do it that way. So um, as far as health, it, it is more, I mean, yes, we got great supplemental products out there. Yes. But that mental health is very important because that feeds in how we live our life. Absolutely. You know, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So as we think, you know, I, I believe that we can come together collectively and just mm -hmm. start spiritually thinking health and good thoughts on the earth because that fear, everybody starts operating that way. But you're right, you know, not only to take care of ourselves physically, to so make that checklist, you know, have accountability with your team. What have you done today to do to stay physically fit? What supplements? You know, people right now all over the globe are thinking, well, maybe my, you know, maybe I need to do more for my health. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'm really thinking of that plan B right now. So guys, we know we have the best products out there. We mm -hmm. wouldn't be doing the type of growth that we are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, are thinking about, you know, boosting their immune system is more important now than ever. Mm. So the people are open and they're thinking, what are we going to do? We don't know where this is go going to go, but uh, we do, do know what we can do in the voice and the mouth that we are on the earth today to encourage others. Absolutely. I think you touch upon the key. Like what, I mean, no matter, I mean, when it comes to social distancing, self-isolating, it doesn't matter, but we have this gift, this heart and this right. voice. And yes. we can be that voice of change and that voice of hope. We are facing changes and it's change is part of humanity. So I think all of us coming together from here, connecting to the heart and your voice, be that voice of change. And collectively, we can be that voice of hope. And I think, Teresa, you, you also touch upon, you know, a lot of times in, in our years. Now, you've been in the industry for how many years, Teresa? Oh, 46 years this year. I know. <laughs> You know, I, I was counting. That, you know, but I think this you know that's why I call you the big sister, yeah. because I was counting to see how many years uh, uh -huh. I've been in this industry, and I go, oh my god! So I look back, you know, and I go, oh my god! I think I got started in this in industry when I was twenty six years old. Mm -hmm. and I go, oh okay. my god! It's like almost thirty years. No, not yeah. quite, but you know, it's like time flies. So. And, and in this industry, Teresa, we have seen a lot. And one of the most common things that we hear, and I'm sure you, you agree with this, is that I don't have time. And oh, yeah. I think you touch upon it, that I believe that we, you know, because the circumstance, whatever's happening in the universe, okay, that we have taken that excuse of, I don't have time away. You yes. know, I don't have time to exercise. I don't have time to pursue my dreams. I don't have time to do whatever. Well, you know what? That's taken away. So mm -hmm. the time that we have now, I mean, I know that for California, it's locked down right now. I know it might not be for you guys right now, but it doesn't matter. You know, lockdown is just physical, but there, but, but there are many things that we could do, you know, in the whole universe. And so, right. I, I mean, you know, so this is a time, take time to read a book. You know, this is how I get out of being caught up in fear. Just, you know, sometimes when you, when you, when you get a piece of information, that's not too pleasant. What you do, I, what I did, I just literally drop, drop everything. I sit down, I do some yoga, uh, or you pick up a good book and you read, you know, listen to positive messages. So the time that we use, and, and, and again, like, like what you said, Teresa, I think we are so blessed right yeah. now to be put on earth and choose yeah. close to come on earth in this time and space that we live in, we get to witness the change. Yes. 
Oh, absolutely. We are the change. Exactly. We are the you know, and, so. and what is happening around the world? This is going to be in the history book that future okay. generation might read. Mm -hmm. And how we walk through it and come through it. You know, I, I like to tell people, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, peace, joy, and a sound mind. So put up those spiritual antennas. You'll get that peace. It's in you. Like you said, Kim, it's within you. We just have to, like a light switch, tune into that. And so... Um, you know, as there's some transition and change, there's time for inventory. There's some time for self-reflecting. You know, right. what is important? How can I help more? What are the gifts that I've been given on the earth today to reach out and help others? And, you know, you said something about use your voice, use your mouth and you know, death and life and the power of the tongue. What you speak forth happens. Mm. And so what's interesting, this is the dispensation. This is the year of what they call the mouth. It's called pay, P-E-Y. Really? And this is the year, what you speak forth in your life, you can bring, it can come to pass. Be careful what you're speaking. If you don't have anything good to say, zip it. Even <laughs> in the midst of all this, in the midst of all this, find something positive, find something encouraging, find something good, because good will come out of this and we'll be stronger. That's right. That's right. And also, I think that, you know, sometimes we, we, we see in media the pointing fingers of who's who. You know, the way I look at this whole thing is that it is happening around the world. Yes. We are all leaves and branches of the same tree. Yes. So I think this is the time that we ought to come together and collectively, all of us, has to be that voice of hope and change. Right. And so, right. Uh, and, 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 and that's how we live life. And, and I, like you said, Teresa, I think in, in year 2020, it is time for humanity to shift. It is time mm -hmm. to live consciously and it's be the voice of truth. And, yes. and that's why I was very passionate uh, the last two weeks. I wanted to launch something like this. And, and, and thank goodness that you, uh, you had reached out. And so that's why we have this call. And so living life, Teresa, now you have lived a very successful life in this industry and I led a very successful team across the globe. So um, what, and, and, and the time that we get to live right now, uh, I know that the situation that's happening around the world, there's major economic impact to many mm -hmm. people across the globe. And so, um, and obviously I, I know, you know, I kind of know what, <laughs> this is an interesting topic because right. now it leads into our business landscape, how that is impacting the timing that we're in right now, um, what we can do. And I know that like, you know, we talk about having the time and time to do things right now to pursue our dream. So what would you say, how would you describe, you know, of what's happening around us that the business landscape we're in right now, what, what would you share with the audiences? Well, you know, Kim, actually it's something that had to drop down in me because, you know, everybody has that, that place of a, uh, am I going to buy into all this into the fear of it? Or am I going to look at the faith and the hope in it? Mm. And I decided, you know, I'm not going to sit back and withdraw because we have to keep this commerce machine going around the world, mm. you know, and some people really don't have a clue what to do and where to turn. And wow, what a time. I can remember there was a book, Kim, back in the 90s. It's Faith Popcorn Report. Popcorn, yeah. And mm -hmm. we used to talk about that. And she said the future was going to be people would cocoon and burrow because of disease and terrorism. And that would be the future of the world. But the marketers were trying to figure out how to penetrate that cocoon. And mm -hmm. look what we have. Look what we've been prepared for. So we just, uh, and so I thought, you know what, I'm not buying into that. I mean, look, I know there's things that we need to pay attention to. We need to pay attention to our governments, our, our governors, our mayors, our city leaders. We need to be supportive of our medical community, everyone. But I thought I can do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start all over again. You know, I don't need to work my business anymore because it has taken me to a tremendous blessing, a tremendous place in life like it has you. But I thought, shame on us as leaders if we sit back and just cruise. Now, more than ever, we are needed on this planet. And so I've just made a decision to gear up. And, you know, it's just like the moms. I said, you know, when those kids are in bed, start your Zoom, your, your Zoom party at home. Put those kids to bed. And ha we don't, social distancing is, is touching, you know, but we're created to interact. So we can interact this way. What an amazing technology and where we have come to to be able to do that. So I challenge everyone. Every single one, no matter who you are, how long you've been into the business, 
start your Zoom opportunities, your Zoom parties for moms. Put the kids to bed, invite your girlfriends and say, this is my my Zoom night. Not my Zumba night, it's my Zoom night. <laughs> maybe both. <laughs> yeah, maybe both. Maybe you can Zumba together. But you know, it is, it's, um, I'm seeing good in humanity and mankind coming together. I really am. And yeah. so I had to look at my gifts, my abilities, and, and identify with the networkers. Look, mm. we have a big mouth. We've been gifted with a big mouth, you know? <laughs> yes. So, you know, we just need to shout it out there. And, and our company is doing amazing things. Janessa is doing amazing things for people mm. to mm. take us to the next level. They're doing some amazing things as a company to help us to help others. Mm. And so there's going to be a change. There's going to be a transition. But you know, we're coming up and we're going to come out and we're going to come up. Isn't it interesting, Teresa? Like, you know, you and I, I've been in the industry for not quite 30 years, but almost, you know, right. and you've been a lot longer to have gone from the paper days, you know, the paper application, you know, everything has to be physical, person to person, face to face. We've gone from that stage to today, today the digital age. I mean, it's fascinating. And technology has allowed us to connect. Look at this. I mean, we have people from all over the globe coming I know. together. I know. We couldn't do this before. I, but I so know. because of the timing, the technology that allows people like you and I to do this. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a lot of friends in the traditional business. Even, mm -hmm. I mean, in LA, I mean, restaurants, they are, they are forced to close. Yoga studio, retail shops. So they're close and yet they have employees, they have overheads, they have the shoulder. So right. I think more and more so in times like this, and as things are started to change, to start to shift, the business landscape starts to shift. It also, I, I believe that it also empower or is an opportunity to, for other entrepreneurs to yes. open their mind to what's about to come in the future. Because the business model, the old paradigm are, are being shattered. It, the old paradigm's going away. So, you know, and I think more so than ever, a lot of traditional business people, like my husband, who's a physician, okay? They have to keep the clinic open. You know, it, 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 they have to put the staff in, 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 the, in the clinic. So the, the things, but you know what? If they stop working, there's no income coming in. Now, obviously you and I are blessed enough to be at a space to be in a part platform and worked hard in the last whatever years to be in a position that money continues to come. So, Correct. and that also comes with a sense of responsibility. That's why you and I are on this call today. And, and so I, I think more so than ever that because of timing, it, it's like a concept that is gonna become to have massive appeal, massive acceptance. And that shift is now, would you not agree with me, Teresa? We've gone from a paper age to the digital age. Absolutely. And now the economy, because you know, you and I talk about, you know, we know and we grew up in the environment says, you know, in our industry is recession proof. And I think this is the best yes. timing to make that work. Would you not agree? We have always said our industry is recession proof because when people have money, you know, a lot of people do our industry for the social life. They may not need the money. They do it for the social life or they do it for their health. They want to look better, feel better. And, and then obviously many do it for a supplemental income. But we are recession proof because where do you go? Where are all these people going to go? And it's putting a tax on our system. Like I said, we need to keep the machine going of commerce around the world. And so we just all might have to uh, stretch a little bit more, learn a little more new things. You know, like even in medicine, they're tele telemedicine, you know, teleconferencing through medicine now. And so I, I think that um, as we as leaders, you're going to hear a lot more from us a lot more of us getting together, um, just like we're seeing people get together that are crossing political divides and saying, this is bigger than our politics. This is bigger than our beliefs. We need to get together and work together. And I think, like I said, you're seeing the best of humanity coming out through something like this. But I, the e-commerce platform, you know, we are like Jackie Ma said of Alibaba. You know, the future is, the future is from the, the um, you know, uh, producers of the products, you know, from the manufacturers directly to the consumer. We are that model and we are that model that is in over 143 countries and just doing tremendous business around the world. And I want to say one other thing. I was on a, a Zoom last night with a, 
a new group of just really dynamic young entrepreneurs from the Philippines. And I, they may not be on here. They said, can you record it? Because we're asleep at that time, but they could be. And I said, you know, we're so used to going and getting the money and getting the product. And, but you know, what are we going to do about getting the product if we can't get it? And I said, you know what? We can't have fear of the what ifs. We mm. have to do our part and trust our leaders that in time, is your product going to be late? Probably. Is your product going to be delayed? I'm sure it will be. Our job, our gift is to keep the e-commerce going. Our going in the midst of everything that's going on and leave the logistics to the government, to the city leaders, to the government, to the, to the people. It will come through. It will eventually catch up. There will be a new way, but we keep doing what we, we do best. And absolutely, I think in a time like this, it, it's us, all of us human beings coming together. And, and, and like you said, in times of challenge, in times of stressful situations, that's when, that's the, to me, that's the breaking point. That is the turning point of human spirit. Uh, mm -hmm. of us doing something. And so um, as far as the business landscape is concerned for me, mm -hmm. it's, you know, for those of you that are fortunate enough to be a part of the e-commerce platform and you are not find one that works for you. And like Teresa says, we are fortunate to be in a platform that operates in 140 countries and territories, mm -hmm. you know? So to me, the way I look at it is like this. It's not like we're going to go recruit other people. The way I look at it is, is, you know, recruiting and building a business model in, in time, especially in times like this, we have to do it consciously. The way I would look at it is that this platform offers people a solution. In mm -hmm. times like this, people are looking for ways, you know, when they're not working, yes, company might be big corporations might be able to pay their staff a week, two weeks off with pay. Right. But if, and should this situation continues, what do the rest of the entrepreneur, business, I mean, employees, what do they do? Well, I mean, the way I look at it, thank goodness. And there are platforms out there. And, and we, of course, we're a little biased. You know, we love our, our platform. And so, yes. you know. <laughs> and we love so, our company. <laughs> absolutely. And so this is a perfect timing to really have people. I mean, we don't need to do that. People themselves, they themselves will have to shift, take off that that lens of that they used to view things because of external environment that's happening. People are beginning to take off the lenses, the things that the way they look at how, what people used to do business with. And so I think more than ever that the timing to build uh, the business model that we're in is phenomenal. Um, with social distancing, with technology these days, we can, at the comfort of our own home, we can build a business from to all over the world. True or not true, Teresa? Yeah. You know, I think, uh, you know, we spent 10 years uh, running around the globe building this platform, Pam. We did. And it is ready. And, you know, I know many people are looking for something out there, but I want them to use wisdom. You know, a lot of people come along and sell you a pipe dream and use your wisdom on the success of a company with the management team, with the people that you're working with. And so our company, Janessa, has just done such a tremendous job with so many, so much recognition. So, and Kim, I will say of my 46 years of being in the industry, and I, maybe I'm a little biased, but we have the best of the best leadership, the best of management, and the best, you know, our corporate staff is amazing. We can get a hold of them when we need to, to help us get things done. But um, we may need to step up just a little bit more in the field for the new people. You know, it's the new people now that, you know, there are people at home wringing their hands and fretting. And, and I hate to think that, you know, we're supposed to have peace, to walk in peace. You know, mm -hmm. the answers never come in our worry. They always come in our rest. So I just encourage everyone to stay at that place of peace because um, there are answers, there's shifts coming. And sometimes it takes, isn't it the Asian uh, word, Kim, for, for uh, crisis is opportunity. Yeah. And so find it's find the silver lining in the in, in the cloud. There is a silver lining. And so for those that are were thinking of retiring, because I know many of us as leaders with you know our platform and Janess family, we could retire. We could just say, Hey, I've done it, we arrived, we're here. But I don't think there's a selfish bone in any one of our leaders or our management team. And I believe we're going to do it all over again, but we're gonna open it up to this ocean of people that are gonna say, show me, I'm open, help me. Even if it's a little bit of extra till things work out for them, 
till mm. you know where they can see where their future is. Absolutely, and I think in times like this, truly, I mean, the way I look at it is that we have built a solid foundation, and you, you know, there's a movie called "When You Build a Field" or, or you, "When You Build a Field." They will come. Baseball movie. What's it called? Uh, Build a you- dream. Yeah. Field field of dream. Dream. Yes. Yes. So the field has been built. And so the way I look at it is that we can be that platform uh, for those who that resonates with them, that we can be that platform for those to choose in a time of change to participate in something like that, that they otherwise wouldn't have ordinarily look at this situation, look at this platform, but because of what's happening around the globe. And we have with, we have, how was the proper word to say? We have withstood the stand of the, what's it say? Stood the test of time. Stood we the have withstood the test of time. That's it. Okay. So thank you, Teresa. <laughs> so we have withstood the test of time. That 10 years, almost until 11 years, we are here. And so what better way to offer that solution to the masses? And so, um, and, 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 you know, truly, Teresa, I, I think that if this is even more so for all our people out there that voices hope not only coming from the quote unquote leaders up top, but the voices hope comes from everyone. You are that voice of hope. You are that voice of change. And so that's why we come together for, for calls like this. This is not teaching you how to do things, but to rather to share with you, uh, Teresa and I's, well, together combined 76 years of experience of you know, in this industry. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, sounds really old, but anyway, so <laughs> you know, it's like sharing with you our inspirations. I mean, Teresa, you, you don't have to work anymore, but 46 six years later, you are still right in front of the camera and it's beautiful. Okay. And I think that speaks volume. Um, you know, I, I started this platform from day one and think about this day one and, and 11, almost 11 years later. We are still standing. <laughs> yes, so, yes. And, and we are here. And we are here to support everyone. I mean, for me, it, it's, you know, even more so now in humanity. It is, it is time for voice of truth. Deception de- doesn't work anymore. So I, I do hope and empower all the entrepreneurs out there that, you know, when you promote, when you build something with people's interests in mind, you know, um, promote consciously, you know, a conscious living. So this is something that some of the things that, that helped me pave my way to be who I am here today. And so um, and, 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 in closing, what I would like to do is um, maybe Teresa, maybe some final words and inspiration for our audiences here, and then I will wrap up and, and, and say my share. So uh, any other final words that you would like to share with our audiences? Yeah, just I, I just want to encourage everyone, remember your gifts, they're there for a reason. And I, I want to share this. I really believe, Kim, up until this point in time, we have been in practice. It has been in practice for such a time as this, that we now more than ever can help people. We can encourage people. We can point people in a right, positive direction. We individually can be that hope and that change. You know, we have a saying in the church, you know, the church is in a building. The synagogue's not a building. The mosque is, you know, it's the, your religion's not a building. It is us. We mm-hmm. are the church. We are the people. We are your faith. You know, whatever. It's you. And so you don't have to have a building. And so it's a voice. And we all have that voice. We've all been gifted with that voice. This is the year of the mouth. It's P-E-Y. Pay. Speak forth good things. So collectively get off of this call. Speak forth your destiny. Speak forth your purpose. And, and just roll up your shirt sleeves and say, okay, who can I now start over with and build and encourage uh, a new platform and help to show the way. So great times, Kim. I'm excited to be a part of them. We are the people picked to live on the world for such a time as this. Agreed. So thank Agreed. you. Kim. I agree more. Thank you, Teresa. And, and, you know, just to anchor what you were saying, you know, I think this is time to extend that helping hand online um, mm-hmm. or offline if you're protected with gloves and, and, and whatnot. And so I, I know that, you know, some people might be hearing the news about the, the contagious thing and all this stuff. The way I would say is, you know, stay grounded. You mm-hmm. know, as human beings, we all have that fear. I remember when my husband come home from the clinic, I'm like, hey, honey, can you make sure that you scrub yeah. yourself down before you enter yeah. the house? I mean, these kind of stuff are there. But, you know, I've come to, I've come to a point 
where this is how I, I, I come to peace, especially living with a physician who's out there, okay? And yeah. so, so for me, it, it's like, you know what? I got to stay grounded. Mm-hmm. You know, when we stay grounded, connect to Mother Earth, and of course, practicing all the healthy hygienes and, and all that stuff. But us as human beings stay grounded. And mm-hmm. more importantly, to, to raise our very own vibration. You know, the vibration is like a protective shield that protect us. And so, you know, whatever it is that helps you to increase your vibration, your frequency. I mean, I, I mean, whatever is important to you. Like for me, I have different tools. You know, I have like these crystal bells and, and stuff. I mean, you know, yoga, you know, and, and I know I have a teenage son, you know, he's 16, 16, 17 years old. And so wow. I, who, what I, I mean, time flies, right, Teresa? So yes, a little, little baby, but anyway, so for me, it's like, you know, you know, he does video games and whatnot that I couldn't play, but I want to try to have family time. So what I do is I connect with him in a specific time and he, he likes his hip hop music. So you know what I do to increase my own vibration, my sense of a connection. I say, son, play your hip hop music. Mama will dance with you. So I don't know, move, you know. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> just, just move. You know, when, you know, sometimes when we're all stressed, you know, like stress and worry, when we drop, drop all that and get into the groove. When you dance, when you, when you do yoga, when you do meditation, all that worry disappeared. What does that mean? That means we're getting into our own zone. And so mm-hmm. when you increase your vibration, have discernments of things you're looking at, things you choose to do. So I, I hope that this very first call uh, has been, uh, have served a little piece of inspiration that sends a voice of hope and change. Yes. And, and I'm very grateful, Teresa, for you to be on this call. And since we still have a little time, Teresa, I know that we have a lot of callers uh, that are in Asia uh, uh, that, um, you know, they, they might not even understand, uh, English, but they stay on just to feel that positive vibration. So right. if you mind, you know, um, uh, I know you don't speak Chinese, but I could be the translator. Uh, you know, uh, is there a, one of a few things that you can share with our friends? We have a lot of people from, uh, Singapore, from Indonesia, from Hong Kong uh, that are on this call and Taiwan. So could you say a few words to our friends over there? Um, whatever that is you want to share. And, and so I can translate and I would also like to say a few words to our, our friends uh, abroad. Okay. Well, you know, uh, Kim, we're, I want them to know we're really all in this together and there's no we, they, it's us. We're all in together. And I think life, the universe, God has a way to say, you know, let's time out here on the way things are going and let's get things into perspective. And so we do love our brothers and sisters around the world. We do love each other. We care for each other. And I know in our Jeunesse family, Jeunesse is my family. It's been my family. And, you know, we all have our spheres of influence, but we're there for you, whatever country. I mean, our thoughts and prayers go out to Italy, to China, and this too shall pass. My mother used to say that all the time. This too shall pass. That's right. And there's always another side we will come through. But um, yeah, I want to just encourage them that we're here for them. If we can do anything, you know, I uh, will help out any way I can and we can translate. And um, it's not, it's not um, any one thing that any one of us can do anything huge, but you know what? We can all do a little something. That's right. If we all get off of this webinar today and say, I can do a little something and you identify and you maybe type in there what you can do, or you just send it to your sponsor or to your friend. This, I can do this and I can help others. And if everybody gets off here today and just gets quiet and say, what can I do? Mm. You know, what is within me mm. that I can do to help the betterment of mankind and the planet and the gifts within me? So we want to just encourage you. We're in it together. We are not passing judgment on anybody, anything. We are one big family, and I think that the, the situation is going to have a way to bring us all collectively together. So I want to thank everyone and just send out special blessings to every one of you. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings, and I just feel that uh, we are here for such a time as this. Beautiful, and, and that's a, such a beautiful uh, blessing and message to all the people, not only in Asia, but around the world, our friends mm-hmm. in Europe. Uh, in North America, everywhere around the world. And so, uh, I, and, and I like to say something into my uh, Chinese friends uh, abroad. And so, and I'll do my best to translate what you had just said. 
<laughs> and I summarized it a little bit. And But that's a beautiful message. I don't know if I could capture all of it, but I, I'll do my very best uh, and do the essence of it. Uh,大家好 可以有很大的一个帮助，所以呢，呃，Teresa呢也是这么多年来的，在这个这个行业里面也是我们的大姐姐啊，所以呢，呃，也我们今天也非常感谢Teresa，我在这里呢也非常感谢在座每一位，